Good evening. My name is Tommy Coughlin. I'm a storyteller, and I would like to tell you a story tonight. Uh, tonight's story is going to be called Loose Moor. It's an Irish story. Uh, I'm an Irish storyteller. I believe in tradition. You're supposed to tell just where you got the story from. Truth is, I'm not quite sure. Might have gotten it from W.B. Yeats. He was a good storyteller, but he collected his from a fellow by the name of Croker. Might have been from Eddie Lanahan. He come from over the mountain, from where the story was told. In any case, this is called Lushmore. Now, Lushmore, he was a hunchback. And he lived in Collier Town on the River Sur in northern County Cork. Oh, Lushmore, he was well loved by all the townspeople. And he was a familiar from a fixture all around the town. Oh, well, well, there was a couple reasons for that. You see, Lushmore, he made the finest baskets, wove the finest baskets from the finest reeds in the River Sur. And, well, Lushmore was sort of distinctive. You see, he had a hunched back. Nobody knows why he had a hunch of the old back, but he did. But he was always a happy sort of fellow, always smiling as he'd uh, limp back and forth to the river with his baskets and other woven goods. Well, one day, old Lushmore, he was collecting reeds by the river, sir, and he went down by the old ferry raft, the old fort on the south side of the river, and he got a little bit tired. So he just sort of laid back and just rested against the grass on the ferry knoll. And as he rested, well, I guess he fell asleep or something, because pretty soon he started dreaming, he started hearing things. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. And sort of woke him up and says, oh, still hear the music, what is this? Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Well, he wasn't quite sure, but it had a nice sound to it, but it wasn't quite complete. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All of a sudden, there was a great clap of thunder, and a big hole opened up in the hill beside Lushmore. He looked around, and all the fairies in the world started bubbling and boiling on that hillside. They pulled him into the hole with him and says, Lushmore, we've been waiting for 10,000 years to get the rest of that song, and you gave it to us. Thank you so much. They brought him in. They fed him real well, gave him some nice things to eat and drink, played music, people dancing. They had a wonderful time. The next day, well, they took Lushmore and and the king of the fairies says, come here. He brought Lushmore in front of him, and he summoned two of his men-at-arms, and they went over, and he lifted that old hunch right off of Lushmore's shoulder, and he took it off the shoulder, and they put it in the corner, gave him a new suit of clothes, and sent him on his way. Well, Lushmore was happy as could be. He could actually step out lightly for a change. He went into town, and nobody recognized him. Well, you know, normally they'd look down on Lushmore, but now they had to look up at this tall, handsome young fellow. And Ronnie said, don't you recognize me? I'm Lushmore. And they didn't believe him. Oh, how could this handsome youth be Lushmore, the old hunchy back? Well, finally Lushmore, he went to the river and he got himself some reeds and he made a basket right in front of him. And they said, yeah, that's Lushmore, all right, that's the way he makes baskets. Well, it wasn't long until word went out all across Ireland about what had happened as Lushmore. Now, in Wexford Town, in the southeastern part of Ireland, there lived two sisters with their brother, Jack Madden. Now, Jack Madden, he had a hunch at back, too, you know, but he wasn't nice and pleasant and charming like Lushmore. He is a grumpy old fellow. If you were all twisted up and hurting all the time, you probably wouldn't necessarily be a nice guy either. But be that as it may, Jack Madden, he was just this terrible, terrible trial to his two sisters. They'd heard about how it happened to Lushmore, so they said, 
well, maybe we should take Jack over there and see what can happen to him. Well, they put him on a dog cart, and they took him across the hills and valleys, across the south of Ireland, until they come to the River Sur. And they made their way up the River Sur to a Collier town, and they started asking around, have you seen this Lushmore fella? Well, as fate would have it, the first person they asked was Lushmore himself. And he said, yes, I'm Lushmore. What can I do for you? They said, well, this is Jack Madden, our brother, and he has his hunch in back. We heard you lost your hunch back with the fairies. And he said, yes, I did. Where did it happen? They said, well, they said it happened over there on the other side of the river by the old fairy rat. Well, the two sisters, they hurried across the river with Jack Madden in a dog cart, and they laid him down. Laid him down there to sleep against the fairy rat. And he wasn't laying there for too long before he heard inside the fairy rat. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, Jack Madden didn't have a very good sense of rhythm, not a very good voice either. He just jumped right in, not a care in the world. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, too. Oh, my goodness. A great hole opened up in that fairy wrath, and 10,000 fairies come rushing out. They says, Jack Madden, for 10,000 years, we waited to get the rest of the words to that song, and now you've gone and spoiled it for us. They pulled old Jack Madden into the fairy wrath with him, and they started beating him on the head and about the shoulders and back with sticks and saying nasty things about him. Well, they spit on him and cursed him, and the king of the fairies said, Jack Madden, Jack Madden, you know you're a bad one. Jack Madden, Jack Madden. Our song you did sad. Jack Madden, Jack Madden, one hump you had on to another will add on. And so saying, he summoned his two sergeants at arms and he took another old hunch and he put it on top of the first hunch that Jack Madden had. And they kicked him out of the fairy wrath. And oh, he was feeling a sorry for himself. Oh, so sorry. But you know, that's what happens when you fool around with the fairies and you don't know what you're doing. That's the story of Lushmore.